Got another one in action here. Let's see if it's got a cicada with it. It's laying awful still. Hope it's not injured. I don't know what their life cycle is. We've got a crying baby in the background. I don't know if you can hear that, but I don't know, that's not showing much life. Maybe its life cycle has ended. Here's another one. It's right beside me, flying around. Well, I went back to look for that cicada killer that looked like it was dead, and sure enough it was. And I just wanted to give you an idea of the size of the female. I've got quite the stinger. Thankfully, she's dead. And apparently, there's only one generation each year. So that is its life cycle. It emerges from the ground, comes out as an adult, and lives its life, and then it dies. So, I don't know, hopefully you can get an idea of the size of it. Pretty, pretty good sized bug. I'll give it a decent burial in the garden, how about that? Thank you for watching. This will probably give you an even better concept of the size of the cicada killer. This cicada was probably paralyzed and left and dropped, but this is what full-size cicadas look like. The ones that you're hearing in the trees right now. And this is the cicada killer, which is large enough uh, to carry it off in flight stings it, paralyzes it, and then it grabs it, and it flies with it through the air, incredibly, flies with it through the air, and buries it in a 24 inch, usually around that, that size of a, of a burrow. And then this is eaten alive by the larva, because it's paralyzed and can't move, but yeah, the gruesomeness of nature, but I had to share that with you. I find these fascinating and I did discover and read